have to worry about anything like no, that. No, we're not going to be dealing with any severe weather whatsoever. We are going to be looking at the chance for some showers, though. So that's what we're tracking on our um, on our Tuesday. So here's a quick look right now at our temperatures across the board. We're looking at mid 50s. So looking at our temperatures across the board, there's a look at Coleman now. Currently, 62 in Coleman with 62 in Cleveland, 59 in Moody with 63 in Birmingham, 62 now in Alabaster. Cloudy start this morning for sure. A few showers in and around central Alabama. I was just tracking a little blip on the radar. It just moved from Anniston and Oxford. It's moving towards the east right now, and I expect for that to dwindle here in just the next few minutes. But there is a long line of showers stretching from Nashville all the way into Tupelo, Mississippi, down through Jackson, Mississippi. That will continue tracking off to the east. So what I'm really focusing my attention on is the rain in Mississippi. Really anything to our north right now is going to stay to the north. Anything to our west, that is what's going to be moving into Alabama today. You can kind of see there. I put some arrows on the map where we can actually watch this rain as it tracks into the state. Let me break it down for you on your storm track future cast. It looks like future cast is trying to make this thing fall apart. I'm not necessarily in 100% agreement with our model up, up, updates simply because I think there's just a little bit more moisture in the air. So I actually think we'll see a few more showers than this, but I think the timing is pretty accurate. So we're looking at rainfall between now and about 5 p.m. Pretty much along Interstate 59, Interstate 2059 there in points northwest. And then after 5 o'clock, we could encounter some of those showers for your drive home. And most of that rain will slide south of Interstate 20 after sunset tonight. So I am calling for um, some almost redevelopment. I wouldn't call it another wave necessarily, but we'll see that same line of showers kind of become a bit more reinvigorated early tomorrow morning. Sometime uh, at some point while some of you are sleeping even. And then by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, most of the rain is south of 20. Notice your Wednesday afternoon, though. Other than cloud cover, not going to see a whole lot of rainfall. But then look what happens Wednesday night and into Thursday. There's going to be more moisture moving in. That will cause for more wet weather Thursday, even some isolated thunderstorms possible. And some of those storms could be packing a bit of a punch. At this point, I don't think we're going to see any severe weather. But we want you to be aware that there could be some inconvenient weather as we head towards the end of the week. Most of that rain should clear out late Thursday night and maybe early Friday morning, but then another round of unsettled weather Sunday into Monday. And that's a look at your storm track seven day forecast.